But the real thing is, I'm just, I'm just here to be me. I don't care what uh, you, you think know what? I am or who or who anyone thinks I am um, at this stage of my life. But um, yeah, I'm a pretty much of a tyrant titan. Yeah, that's who I am. I'm on the Zoloft thing, right? But I'm on that to keep me from killing y'all. I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. I'm a big strong nigga that knocks out people and rapes people and rips off people. Always confusion with Mike Tyson, who's standing by with Jim Gray. Jim? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God and Muhammad blessings and peace be upon him is his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Baum, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, I'm man. What? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, an amateur professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox. I'm coming for you. Is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this I, in I seven or eight seconds? For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynch is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their floor. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Saying now, Mike, the bike. I don't let people with me. Put your mother in a straight jack you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I f you in your ass, you punk white boy. You faggot. You can't touch me, you're not mad enough. I eat your a lot, you bitch. You, you hoe. Come and say to my face, you ass for everybody. You got mad enough for me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white man. Scared of the real man. Up so you love me, faggot. When I go to big cities, everybody stop, you know, and it's like, wow, Mike Tyson. You're Mike Tyson, aren't you? Aren't you that young knockout kid? Aren't you, aren't you that young knockout kid? How confident am I going to that you can win this fight? Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. <laughs> I normally don't do interview with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you want to, you know. I may like fornicate more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? If I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles so you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. I hate Mike Tyson. So I don't like Mike Tyson. So I mostly wish the worst for Mike Tyson. So I don't get caught up with Mike Tyson. That's probably why I don't like my friends and my fans. I'm 36 years old, going to 36. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. Uh, listen, um, I broke my back. Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. And I don't even know how I'm standing. Um, it's a miracle, but the doctor had um, did something. They took me to the pain center, and one day I couldn't move anymore. And I asked the doctor, "What's wrong?" And he said, um, "Believe it or not, it's wearing your back is broken slightly." And I couldn't box. Every time I box, and something happened. I don't know if a guy hit me. Or they say he didn't hit me, but I don't know. Sometime in the gym, you know. I don't know. I, I trust my their new trainers. I trust them. But I, I was boxing with a this African guy Friday. What's Friday's full name? Anybody know Friday's full name? What's Friday's full name? Anybody know Friday's full name? So are you in pain right now? Did you take some type of injection? Or uh, how did no, you how did you make it to this fight? I can't take an injection. You know you're gonna test me. But um, all praise be to Allah. I don't know. I don't know. And a doctor told me probably um from the nerves in my spine, and I just exasperated me and I, I was just a little frightened about that but you know I mean, look at me what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go and become a rocket scientist over, all of a sudden and I said come on let's bring it on on, on, on up and up just let's bring it on I'm not um, eloquent or distinguished you won't allow me to ever be that but um, let's bring it on y'all guys know what I do y'all know what I do 
I put people in body bags when I'm right. So we know what's going to happen. And I know you guys don't think you're going to beat me. I, I know you don't. Back to some of the question recent fights. Do you feel any need to show your, your boxing talent in this fight? Listen, right? I've never did anything he's never done in the ring. So ask him that question. Well, ask him, right. white boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no and I gave from a uh, dance or a lap dance, but um, you gave her a lap dance. That's just what I do. I like to do what I want to do. You know, I guess that what separates me from everybody. That's just what I do. Watch 18. Mike Tyson, Ray the Ruddick, Ray the Ruddick dies. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. Mike, uh, Francois, both a six to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill the this mother? Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does what that, about it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. It. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Man, listen, right? I don't know nothing about being a heavyweight champ. Only thing I know I know how to fight, right? I'm a nigga, right? <laughs> You know, really, 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 really. I'm not saying like I'm a black person. You know, but I'm, just, I'm a street person. I'm so, I don't even want to be a street person. I don't even like. I don't even like typical street people. Th th but that's just who I became and what happened in my life and the tragedies in life that made me that way. But you know, I'm Mike. You know, I'm not malevolent or anything. I just am. And I just want to just just live my life. And uh, I know you guys talk bad about me. You got a really bad snig out there about me, but. You're gonna, I'm going to make sure you talk about me. <clears throat> your grandkids and kids after that are going to know about me. I'm going to make sure that they're never going to forget about me. Your great-grandkids are going to say, wow, wasn't that a bizarre individual? Well, there are somewhat of an explanation.